Will crying man be there? Will I finally be able to see him? Oh, 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 um, oh, um, oh, explained? Hello? No? We're not gonna talk about, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Great, awesome. <laughs> Pop! Pops! Now get the fuck back here! Knife? No? Pop! Oh. Okay, I need to stop looking at this guide, because now I'm, I'm just being babied here. But. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! There's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming through from the neighboring room. Go through the hole! Oh! There's a human being there! Hello! I'm looking for my rat. Have you seen him? I call him Pops. Y you were the one in the hall earlier, huh? I thought about t talking to you, but you were praying. Oh! The homeless man from the confessional. Okay. Pop! Oh, this? Is it your p pet? He's more like my friend, kind of. That's a cute friend you have. Um, but still kind of weird to have a rat friend. I mean, they c can't talk, right? Pop can talk. Oh, r really? I've never met a t talking rat before. Hey, Pop. Wanna say hi to Ed? Your name's Ed? Yeah, sh Short for Edward. And you? Well, do you live here, Ed? Nah. I have a home, but I c can't go back. I'm s staying here for a while. I would be leaving soon, but I've g got something to do. S so I'm still not sure. Uh, Pop! He ran off. I guess he hates me. Pop! Were you l looking for him? S sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look, but I'm busy s searching too. What are you searching for? A n notebook. It's small and black. I thought it was in this room, but I can't find it. Well, hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sh sure thing. Thanks, Will. He seems so sweet. I think I have a notebook, though, don't I? Was the notebook really here? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. You're making a real mess there. I got hungry, so I've been eating. I, I think your friend wanted my leftovers. No, do I- it's not the notebook I have? Okay. Fair enough. Hello, we are drawing. All right, well, I guess I don't have your notebook, so I'm going to get going then. Bye, Ed. Nice seeing you. Well, that was a scene. Was he the one that was crying before? Oh no, this is the sobbing, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Where's the sobbing? Or maybe I was too soon for me to figure out the sobbing 
Dane. I wonder if I, like, did stuff out of order. <laughs> Hello? it is again it sounds like someone crying uh my week's been a lot of ups and downs not gonna lie it's especially yesterday it was like a day and a half i don't even know how to describe it it was just oh it was a hot mess uh try to get better though hello All documents, just cans of shit. Two cans of juice. Whatever that stuff is. I thought I heard sobbing from the other room, but there's no one there, is there? Won't open. What? Um. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? This is why I hate the dark. Uh. Cause there's always something there. Mm hmm. Yep, I think there's something okay, more than well, just good night. being afraid of the dark. Mom? Yes? Oh, baby will voice. Oh, gosh. Okay, cool. I'm going to try setting up, but I'm also just like, uh. It's nothing. If you say so. Good night. <sighs> oh, there's someone sitting in that chair. Hello. <gasps> Can he see dead people? Oh, fuck. When it's night and the room goes dark, he always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. He must be a mime. I try to call for mom, but it's pointless. He disappears once the lights come on. Just who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Or is he my friend? Or, sorry, is he my friend? Or is he... You've got guts to take a nap here, kid. Keith! You, what did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? <gasps> he knows us! Time to run! Huh? Why do you... Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Uh, Even if you do hide it in your jacket. You little... You little sneak! You can't just take people's things. So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? 
How about this then? What kind of business do you have with David? I'm asking you what you want with David. Resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? Yeah, Drax is doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm his cousin. No, stop snooping already. <laughs> One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Oh, my word. Keith, stop rifling through my pockets. Huh? I know you're a detective, but stop. Turn off detective brain. Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Give that back. Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. So what's your story? Oh, they're JK buddies. It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Huh? And why should I? Because I'm... Hmm? Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? Keith, you don't understand. Don't be rude. I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Eh? If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, we'll always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. All this snow. Oh, baby! Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't, but I kept insisting. You in your head, kid? If you really think your rat's talking to you, you ought to visit a hospital. If Pop doesn't... doesn't come back, what do I Kate, do? Kate, stop being rude. It's so cold, and I'm all alone. What if... Hey now, don't cry. You're 14, right? Can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Fuck you! <laughs> Listen, this building's full of rats. Seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? His right leg's bent. There's a little fur missing on it. Alright. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. We can keep searching some, but be ready to give up if you don't find him. You're not staying here past nightfall. Got that? You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just, who are you? I'm a detective. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Fair well, enough. What's your name? Now get on your way. <laughs> Ghost and the bell. Interesting achievement. A clutch bag. Maybe it's Keith's? Hmm? All the years you suffered, those were the best years of your life. George Schmidt. Hey, stop digging around in there. D don't threaten me! Is that photo yours? That's this building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, my dad will give it back. <laughs> He'll get yelled at if you look inside. Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. I was right. 
After millionaire Jim Cord bought up the forest, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Oh, interesting. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. Rude. This building's strange. There are these shadows or something. And locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old. So lots have been lost to time. But still... There are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah, shadows everywhere. Because it's dark. And you're freaked out, so you think they're moving. You didn't see what I saw, alright? Just saying. What? Go on. Find your rat. He seems busy with investigating. Alright. You can see the other room through the mirror. It seems to be a magic mirror. Hey, Keith. Did you unlock this door? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. No, it wasn't, Keith. See, you don't know what you're talking about. You have some logic, but not all the logic. It was locked before. It absolutely was. Ah, so it loops around. <laughs> document room? Have I seen a document room? Document room. First floor. Um. Okay. At least the crying stopped. I wish you would mark up the maps, though. Dining room. Visiting room. Staff's lounge. Where did it say the document room was? Auditorium. So... Maybe down here? I don't think there was a locked... Oh, wait, wasn't this locked? Oh, this was locked! Okay, so that's what this is for. There we go, I'm glad we're making progress! Pop? Pop! God, I found you. Sound like Come on down, good. Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? Wait there. I'll get you down. I don't know. He's not talking, so... Oh, tarot cards. Alright. Oh, do I have to... Pop! Gosh dang it. Probably How not even Pop's... How did you run away, Pop? How do you even know if that was Pop? Tragedy that bef... Oh, wait. 
The tragedy that, bef that befell the homeless. The happy murders. Okay. Are you familiar with a certain incident that occurred in the deep woods on the outskirts of Marvel Hill? Deep Woods Hospital, which once accommodated patients with mental illness, was abandoned in 1970 and long neglected. But it was later purchased, woods and all, by one Jim Cork, famous millionaire and philanthropist. Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling in priests to open a chapel and running a social action program. Yet all this came to an end with the gruesome incident, which would come to be called the Happy Murders. One winter day, a priest in the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residents. He attempted to question them as they kept suspiciously silent and soon discovered five corpses in the building. The causes of death are all different from stabbing to strangling, and they were also found in all different locations. Yet there was a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. After police, question After police questioning, five among the residents confessed to murder. As to their motives, they gave various reasons having an argument, or having never liked their victim, but they spoke not a word about the bodies hanging from ropes. The police announced that the most recent corpse was three days dead, and the oldest corpse had been dead for three weeks. Now, you're noticing something bizarre, aren't you? In the three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place, and the homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. After the five criminals confessed and stated their motives, they all made this final comment. Now, I finally become happy. Cork had the facility completely shut down, and the homeless living there all dispersed without ever speaking of what had happened. Deepwoods Hospital has not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It simply sits there quietly in the forest. What's this? this inc is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? Yikes! I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Was that dark before? I feel like it wasn't. But maybe I'm crazy. Pop, why are you running? Do you hate me now? Do I need maybe I need to go talk to Keith now? Or I need to go investigate a now open door. Hello. There's a building map posted up. Oh no, we're in building two and there's so many more rooms. Ugh. Take it. Hello. I mean, I'd believe that. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Why are things so dark and creepy? Don't know what the- Oh. Something's on top of the flower pot. Why? A headless doll? Why is it headless? And there's this string tied around it. Wait. Is this hair? Oh, is that some voodoo shit? I want nothing to do with it. I want nothing to do with hoodoo voodoo bitch. Like, no. Hey. What? Ah! Sophie. Hey, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? Sophie, the fuck are you doing here? So, you're Will, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Who the fuck are you? Like... To Will. We obviously know who Sophie is, but who will? Who is she? Stop. Stay away from me. Why are you being You're rude? That cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stirred a hole for me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. H hey! Wait a sec. I said wait! Let go, you stupid girl! Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. 
That's how she knew. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So I decided to help him look. A truck driver near the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone. So I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet. I was going to go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. All right, in that case, I'll help you look. Huh? R really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick. She has no idea it's a rat. If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. I do love the way the snow falling looks. Does she stay with me? Ah, Sophie's at my party. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go reinvestigate that creepy doll, though. Wait. It's gone. Oh, shit, it's gone. What is? Th there was a doll here, but it's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it. It was a headless doll. It's kind of hard to confuse with anything else. Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird one. Sophie, now's not the time. You're also weird. Don't even. And I don't think that was open before. But we're gonna go in here first. No? Nothing to pop open? Alright. A notice has been left on the board. Notice, Dr. Dennis Sinear has taken a long vacation for recuperation purposes. That doesn't sound good. Okay, cool. Let's move on, I guess. Did you need to follow me in here? Is this necessary? Alright. Just not gonna talk about it. Pops! I would really like to leave this place now. Spooky ghost! Nope. Oh, it looked like there was something there. I think that's just like rubble art or whatever. Is this going to be like the hospital room? So oh. that's kind of weird, but okay. fast why are you here uh, <laughs> do you two know each other hmm i guess uh, sophie why are you here mr keith bored acting like he didn't save your life for nothing <laughs> all right fam do you think i take my walks in places like this it's for work obviously you're the one who needs to explain herself David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping, but said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Is Keith gonna tell her it's a rat? 